There was a strange customer at the convenience store late at night. His back was turned to the cashier and he kept tinkering with his hands. The girl felt uneasy, but then the customer came to check out. She carefully gave him the change. The customer is obviously not a normal person. The girl secretly pressed the alarm, but the customer suddenly lost control and grabbed her arm. He grabbed her arm and cut her arm with his sharp nails. He then took off his mask. But when the girl opened her eyes again, everything was calm. Even the blood stains on her arm had disappeared. The police arrived at the convenience store and asked the girl why she called the police. The girl couldn't remember what had happened, so she sent the police away. The girl wanted to close the store, but then the owner walked in. She seemed to know exactly what had happened. She took the girl's injured arm and looked at it, then took her into a secret room. The room was labeled with drawings of faces. The computer is connected to the store's security camera, which really captured the strange customer just now. But the owner didn't want to give them to the police, because the police can't take care of these things, and she wants the girl to keep working here. He thinks the girl's face is very complicated. On the one hand, she attracts wealth and peach blossoms. On the other hand, she is prone to attracting evil spirits. Too much contact with evil will affect her luck. That's why she's been so unlucky all these years. The boss didn't need the girl to attract wealth. He just wanted her to stay for a while. But the girl backed out. The boss's words sounded too weird. And the girl is in the process of selecting an air hostess. Compared to Salas girls, stewardesses are better. But the boss advised her not to go. Don't let her bad luck ruin the plane. The simple girl was shaken. She works at a convenience store. But the customers are all very strange. Even her boss is unusual. The owner was obsessed with face reading. She installed cameras all over the store so that she could clearly observe the faces of her customers. She thought the girl's face was so weird that she could attract special customers, so she insisted that she stay. But the girl wanted to be an air hostess more than anything else. Instead, the boss said that the bad luck on the girl would cause the plane to crash and die. The simple girl was scared by her, but she still thought the store was dangerous. So the boss used his money power. The girl hesitated, but she couldn't resist the temptation of money. After that, she worked in the store as usual. The boss would observe her face and record it on his drawings every day. That day, the girl saw a wooden box in the warehouse. The boss told her there was a watermelon inside. If the girl wanted to eat it, she could take it, but watermelons are not cheap in Korea. Of course, the girl was too shy to eat it, but while she was organizing the shelves, the owner brought the wooden box to the cashier's counter and asked her to eat it. The girl looked at the owner gratefully as he left. Although she thought the owner was a bit strange, he was still very nice. She studied the wooden box and realized she didn't know how to open it, so she put it aside for the time being. During the day, she went to her usual flight attendant training class. After class, she asked her best friend if she had a face that would bring down an airplane. Her best friend didn't know how to answer her question and didn't know where she got the strange idea from. The girl thinks she's overthinking it. She said goodbye to her best friend and went back to work at the convenience store. But that night, there was a difficult customer. It kept picking on her. She didn't know what to do. She nervously gripped the stun gun she bought to protect herself. But the manic customer was fixated on the wooden box. He couldn't open it, so he just dropped it on the floor. There's a rowdy customer at the convenience store. He was so unreasonable, he made the girl give him food. The girl was so scared that she held the taser tightly. But the customer was attracted to a wooden box. He sniffed the box and decided there was meat in it. Excitedly, he picks up the crate and looks at it, completely oblivious to the blood seeping out from underneath. He tried to open it, but it wouldn't open at all, so he slammed it to the ground. The two men were stunned. The lights in the store suddenly went out. The owner locked the door and came in. She said the customer had the face of a glutton, but he was born poor and had no money to buy food. Then she slit the customer's throat. Warm blood splashed the girl's face. When the girl recovered, she quickly rushed to the door. However, the door was already locked. The boss lamented that the girl's face does attract trouble, just like her old self. But it doesn't matter, she has a way to change. With that, she aimed the knife at the girl's face. The girl also quietly took out the electric shop baton. She ran away while the boss was being tasered, but the tip of the knife cut her face. But she was so focused on running away that she didn't see the boss drop his sunglasses. By the time she hid in a warehouse, the boss was already outside the door. Her voice had changed to a male voice, and she even developed a laryngeal knot. It turns out that he decided that his male self was not good looking, so he changed his gender and face to the one he was most satisfied with. At that moment, the boss used the key to open the warehouse door. In fact, he didn't recruit the girl to study face reading. Rather, he fell in love with the girl's face. He wanted to get the girl's face.
A few days later, the girl attended the stewardess training class again. Her face was as smooth as ever. Where's the wound made by the tip of the knife? 